good morning friends friends today we will discuss maxwell equations for static fields we have derived all the maxwell equations uh, general maxwell equations like for example we have derived for the differential form number 1 del dot e equals to rho by epsilon naught number 2 we have derived this one number 3 faraday's law maxwell's third equation minus db by dt number 4 we have derived del cross h equals to j plus epsilon naught curly e by curly t now what is the meaning of static fields what is the meaning of static field static field means the fields that are constant that are not changing with time that are not changing with time okay so if there is something constant the what should be the differential form if x is if y is constant then what should be dy by dx with respect to x it will be zero okay or with respect to time dy by dt if it is varying with respect to time then it will be zero so here in this case for the static fields there are four types of field okay the first one the first one is e second one is d because d is equals to epsilon not e third one is b and fourth one is h b is equals to mu not h i have discussed the meaning of all these terms in my previous video lectures okay so del dot e is equals to rho by epsilon not it will remain same that is del dot e is equals to rho by epsilon not there is no there is no field term that is varying with respect to time okay the del the del is d by dx d by dy d by dy d by dz del dot b is equals to 0 now here b magnetic field is varying with respect to time now if b is constant the what should be the differentiation of constant it will be 0 so del cross e is equals to 0 fourth maxwell equation here e is varying with respect to time del cross h equals to j okay so this was the modified ampere circuit law if the field is constant we will get the ampere circuit law differential form okay so static fields in the static fields uh, db by dt will, will will become zero de by dt will become zero so these are the four maxwell equations for the static fields similarly in the integral form in the integral form e dot ds was rho dv and for the static field it will be e dot ds equals to rho dv second was b dot ds equals to 0 it will remain b dot ds equals to 0 third was integral of e dot del equals to minus curly by curly t dot ds now b is varying with respect to time and if b is a constant then it will be it will be zero so this was the result fourth was modified law j dot ds plus psi not curly e by curly t dot ds now if e is constant with respect to time we will get only j dot ds so these are the four maxwell equations for the static field just remember e b d h okay if these are constant their differentiation will be zero so result will be here and here remaining these two terms will remain same okay i hope you have understood these four maxwell equations for the static fields thank you thanks a lot